you planning on taking the CISSP exam? Then I say to you, may the force be with you. But on a serious note, CISSP is one of the hardest exams I have ever taken. It's so damn hard that after I got my past results from the exam in Vigilator, I actually cried. That's how freaking hard this exam is. But luckily for you, I cleared the exam on my first attempt. And I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to navigate this beast of an exam. So stay tuned. So let's get real. CISSP is not a walk in the park exam. It's really, really difficult. So begs the question, why did I even go for the CISSP exam? Hmm, pretty good question. I took the CISSP exam because, number one, the gold standard in security. Number two, I wanted to do something non-technical for once in my life. Some would say CISSP is a mile wide and an inch deep. Yes, indeed, it is. There's a lot of information to take in when you want to do CISSP. Now you have to understand that CISSP is an exam tailored for management candidates. So it's pretty non-technical. There's a lot of vocabulary adjustments that you need to do. So there's a lot of resources out there for CISSP. But by far the best way you can learn CISSP is by reading PDFs. You can never run away from PDFs for this exam. I think that's the most boring part of the exam. But let's face it, if you are a techie, you enjoy watching video tutorials and so forth, but reading a PDF is not how I saw myself preparing for the CISSP exams. To pass this exam, your past experience plays a vital role, a monumental role, but so is going through 5,000 practice exam questions. Yes, I said it. I went through 5,000 practice exam questions. It was crazy. I'll leave a link in the video description or some of the question banks that I used during my preparation. So the reading methodology differs from person to person and I will share with you how I cracked this thing. Open the CISSP official guide PDF and put it on the left half of your screen and open the PDF question bank and put it on the right side of your screen and bam, you're golden, you're good to go. You can take it one question at a time. Read a question and revert back to the PDF guide the search function will be a friend. The reason why this method worked for me is because I had some security experience prior to tackling this exam. So I was just doing a bit of learning and reference checking to see how to use the process of elimination and arrive at an answer. Some of the information I would Google and supplement with videos on YouTube on things like encryption and so forth. If you don't have any prior security experience, then I would suggest that you read the CISSP official PDF guide cover to cover because you might struggle if you try to use my methodology. Now the first 100 questions, you will be lost. You will feel like giving up because it's all new things that you will be reading. But I bet you, after that, you will get the hang of it. Now that you've gone through 5,000 practice exam questions, you feel like you are King Kong and you can take over the world and what not not. Well, you're wrong. This exam will whoop your behind. Done and dusted. It will whoop your behind. Another great resource for anyone tackling this monstrosity of an exam is to go through the ISC squared forums. So if I were you, I would pause this video and go there right now. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. After this video, go to the ISC squared forums and see the comments there. A lot of people who have passed and failed the exam will be giving feedback on the strategies and resources that they have used. So I would recommend checking that resource out. In the beginning of the video, I told you that I cried when I got my pass score sheet. Yeah, that's because I thought I knew everything about CISSP. And after going through 5,000 questions, I thought I knew how to eliminate the wrong answers from the right ones. I got into the exam and sat in it, and I was blown away. You can never prepare enough for this exam. Even people on the forums will tell you this. The exam threw a slew of questions at me. You would think that after 5,000 practice exam questions, I will be a pro by now. In conclusion, 
you need some experience. If you don't, your learning curve will be a bit high. You also need to learn the vocabulary. If you're already a manager, then this will be easy for you. But if you are a techie, you will need to learn the lingo, boys. You need to go through tons and tons of questions. Read and answer the questions. And do it again and again and again and all over again. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the big red subscribe button for more videos. Until next time.